Also today, Georgia lawmakers are expecting to hear more information about new immigration legislation introduced in the wake of the killing of Lake and Riley in Athens. Yeah, but they are also getting some pushback here. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joining us live from the Capitol. But what we know on this, Doug. Yes, yeah, so some of uh, these bills are getting varying levels of support from uh, elected officials in Georgia who are themselves immigrants to the United States. Before they release on bail, they, we ought to know what their status is. John King is Georgia's Mexican-born insurance commissioner. He says it makes sense to vigorously prosecute immigrants accused of major crimes and that it's an issue that gets less attention than it should. People don't realize that a lot of these, you know, these individuals are predators in the Latino community. And so because they go, you know, victims are afraid to report those crimes. Their voices are never heard. King, a Republican and former police chief, spoke as lawmakers considered a new bill requiring local law enforcement to contact federal immigration authorities if an inmate is identified as an illegal alien and can detain them for up to 48 hours for federal processing. But King told us Georgia authorities should be sure to target immigrants accused only of serious crimes. I don't think we should play a, a, too heavy of a hand in that area. Let's start this conversation with the sense, you know, the deadly sense. So, an African Caribbean American. Shagun Adeana of Gwinnett County is among the Democrats nervous about the new Republican emphasis on prosecuting immigrants. So is Solomon Adesanya of Cobb County. And I think passing bills to criminalize immigrants, in my opinion, that goes against the fundamentals that the United States were, were built on. And criminals are everywhere in all communities. They, they don't come as immigrants, they don't come as um, U.S. citizens, mm -hmm. they're just people who are bad. And for these uh, bills to pass, they will need to pick up some traction pretty quickly. There's a key deadline on Thursday, which is called crossover day, which is when bills have to pass either one house or the, either the House or the Senate. There's a full slate of committee hearings scheduled for tomorrow, and it is likely that uh, Republicans will advance these measures uh, in the uh, period of time between now and Thursday. We are live at the Capitol tonight. Back to you.